What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to Backyard Wrestling on the PS2 talk show mode. It is now time to invade the mall and have a shopping spree. And we have three opponents in the mall. We're talking about the phenomenon of backyard wrestling today, and I'm shocked at how many people's lives it's had an impact on. This is a wildfire burning through our youth's moral fiber. Our next guest knows when you're sleeping, and he knows when you're awake. Uh -oh. So it's either a stalker or the one and only Santa Claus. Ho, Santa Claus. Ho, ho. Wait, where? What? Oh, ho, it's bad. Ho, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Santa. Ah, f you. Oh. Mr. Claus, please think of the children. Merry Christmas, kids. Oh, bread Who wants the present? Oh, this is a disgrace. <laughs> okay. I just can't do this. Bye, the Iron Blade. Anyhow, I welcome you to a fine Thursday here on the program. Not even in the mall. We're in front of the mall. And here I was hoping for having more bright lights in this game. It's so freaking dark in every stage just about. And that's frustrating. Like the first two stages are pretty bright and it's just been dark since then. So that's unfortunate, but we do what we do here on the show on this fine, oh reversed, on this fine Thursday into that stinky stankin' dumpster. A uh, bit of a slow news day, but there are some things to discuss as we usually have things to discuss here on the show. Also, I am just terrible at getting in any offense here against Monoxide. So let's try to get in some offense here against... Ah, uh, let's see. Anyway, so let's begin with the fact that Chelsea Green, who was doing some stuff, she's signed to NXT, had her first, I guess, dark match on a taping before the show, and in the first match at full sail, broke her wrist. So just poor luck all around, but hey, that is a minor setback. It is nothing compared to, oh my god, when Sami Zayn was on Raw and just was too excited and managed to mess up his shoulder. That was a whole, like, that was just real. Like, not even in the match, before the match, in his entrance, was uh, kind of crazy. Anyway, so best of luck to her uh, with that broken wrist. Etc. Etc. But speaking of NXT, we have, from those tapings, we have our match set up for... Oh, into the car. I'm just losing here, just terribly, but, you know. It's Thursday, I'm tired, I don't care. But we have our NXT title match decided, because obviously Champa is not in any condition after next surgery to compete at TakeOver before Mania in a couple of weeks. So it will be for the vacant... NXT title, we're gonna have Gargano and Adam Cole. So either way, regardless of who wins, we're gonna have someone who has not been NXT champion before. That's exciting. That is, I hit the wrong button there. I hit the wrong button. Finishing maneuver. Won this match just by the skin of my teeth. It is what it is here as Santa does what Santa does. Next to a literal trash fire. And now we fight Hernia, who's like a ballerina of some kind? I don't know in this game. It, there's some weird stuff. But you can see my health bar is already in the yellow because uh, you only get back a little bit of health when you go into the next match. And you gotta have, obviously, a gauntlet here, much like Hoki will have on SmackDown next week. But, you know, that is what it is. We will lose and then try again as we do here on this program. Anyway, stunner! And then going to the top, gonna fly! Going to the top. Oh, I was gonna do it again. I was gonna do it twice. Oh no! She had a bicycle! Uh, classic Dusty Roads. Classic. No, the TV, the big old CRT TV. I got one of those. Right here. And hernia gonna give me a hernia. Good God Almighty. That's ridiculous. And then knocked the F out. Stop throwing the bicycle! Anyhow, extra hype for TakeOver, because anytime you have a match where a champion, where you're, you're guaranteed to have somebody who has not had that belt before win that belt, that's exciting. So, extra hype for TakeOver in NYC. 
baby. That was just... Nope, right into the car. Whoa. All right, jackhammer. Just about. Ridiculous. I would like to at least see the third competitor here. Uh, but it's not looking good. The game has increased the difficulty on me, as video games tend to do. And stop, man. Get you punch drunk. And then hit you with that stone called Stunner. Boom. Give me that stop sign. It's done. Really? Really? I want the... Really? I wanted the stop sign! Man, you gotta run really far to get away from that stuff. To get away from the, uh... I don't know, it, it's... I wanted to jump there, I rolled right off. I rolled right off! Keep rolling. Anyway, the fact that Raw this week is going to be in the Allstate Arena in Chicago is interesting for one particular reason. If we go by the fact that Kurt Angle wants to have his farewell match at WrestleMania, right? And we go by when John Cena debuted, it was at this very arena. I can't get the stupid, and now I'm punch drunk. Losing more health for no reason. That was the same arena where John Cena debuted to fight Kurt Angle on SmackDown all those years ago. And we know WWE loves to bring things full circle with their arenas. They mention it all the time with The Shield. Where either they, they, they formed and broke up or they formed and reformed in the same arena. One of those two. But they love bringing things full circle in the same arena. So if we have... Kurt Angle and John Cena, we're probably going to find out this week, because that would make a whole lot of sense to do it this week in that same very arena. But hey, we'll see. Ah, oh, reverse the belly to belly, and then, oh! Choke slam! Choke slam! And then a TV. Now you're punch drunk. Now you're punch drunk, and we hit them pedigrees. For days, son. Let's keep doing it, I don't even care. Anyway, so there is that, and that's a very, certainly a uh, compelling bit of business if it ends up happening. If not, fine. Like, I'm fine with Cena and Joe if that ends up being the match. Like, that's not a problem for me at, at all. But, oh, come on! I... Hernia! Bicycle! Get up so you can get down, Hernia. That's it. Knock out. And speaking of getting down, now we are getting down with the clown, as such. So, there you go. Pedigree on Shaggy. But, in any event, uh, I did want to discuss for just a little bit here, the fact that the difference you'll find between Raw and SmackDown, which I talk about often, about how SmackDown is better than Raw a lot of the times, uh, and a very good example of how SmackDown handles things better than Raw in terms of building an angle within a singular segment, compare... Ah, the bicycle. Compare Triple H and Batista, right? That whole back and forth. Oh my god, climbing! I wanted to... Alright, alright. Compare Triple H and Batista, right? In that segment, though. Give me my, what I want thing, right? Compare that. Really? Really? Reversed. Finally. Uh, compare that to Randy Orton and AJ Styles, how they built that segment, uh, and how much better that was in terms of effectively making you care about that feud as compared to Triple H and Batista. Just went with better character stuff, it just worked so much better and now I'm punch strong. So here we go. Perhaps the end of me here. I can't get up! Okay, now... Now! Woo! Power bomb From the top! Good God Almighty, they're both gonna be dead. I wanna win, I wanna win, I want to win. Get me up, get me up, get me up. Don't get hit with the bicycle! He's just going in and being cheap now. Like, I can't avoid any of that! And it's trash. And it's trash. I'm done. I'm done. I'm absolutely done. Ah! Screw it, man. Screw it, man. Oh, come on! Yeah, climb, climb, climb! We gonna make it! We gonna make it! We gonna not make it! We gonna not make it! Oh my god! Okay, that's the end of today's video. I came ever so close, but I was not good enough to defeat 
the Dark Carnival. I'm Attack Slug. See you next time. More videos on this channel. Tune in for those. And I'm out.